hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm just going to show you how i make my whipped shea butter at home with a few simple ingredients i'll leave all the ingredients down below for you to check out with the links um but for this shea butter mix i'm going to be using rose hip oil i'm also going to be using sweet almond oil um, and a few other essential oils and of course i'm going to be using raw shea butter um, to test how your shea butter is raw um, it's basically just really really soft and really easy to cut so that's what i'm doing here i'm just going to basically chop it into little pieces so it's easier to um, whip when it comes to the whipping process so you want to chop your shea butter into little pieces and then once that's done you want to kind of put it into um, a bowl um, preferably a glass bowl because you are going to be working with heat so anything that can conduct heat so i'm going to put um, a portion of my shea butter in the bowl i did end up putting the whole portion um, but i wanted to start off small so once that's done you want to boil um, some water in a pot or you can just use some hot water um, rather than actually using it under the hob but i just prefer to use it under the hob because it's quicker um, so you want to pour your hot water into the um, pot and you want to put the glass bowl where your sh um, where your shea butter is in that pot and as soon as you do that you will notice that your shea butter starts to get really um, liquidy um, yeah so it starts to form a liquid texture um, from the solid texture so i'm just going to stir that up on t um, until it gets really really liquidy and until it turns into an oil so you're going to keep stirring you can just leave it in hot water but like i said if you want to quicken the process i like to um, actually put it under fire so i'm going to add my rosehip oil here just a little bit depending on your preference um, and then i'm going to add my sweet almond oil you can read about both benefits of the oils um, down below as well um, rosehip oil for example is really good with hyperpigmentation and because i suffer with hyperpigmentation i thought this would be perfect for my skin um, specifically so as time goes on you will start to notice that the butter starts to melt literally like butter and turns into an oil so i'm going to keep stirring that until it's completely melted so until you can't see those little bits anymore and once that's completely melted um which is going to look like this basically just really 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 runny i'm going to pop that in the fridge um, for about maybe an hour depending on how cold your fridge is so i'm just going to pop that in the fridge for an hour or so and i'm going to come back once this um, formed a solid kind of texture so once it's formed a solid texture this is how it should look and i'm going to start whisking away with my whisk um, if you want to know where i got my whisk from i'll leave that down below as well if you're interested so immediately as you start whisking you start to notice that the texture of the the butter has changed and also the color has of, has changed as well so it turns into a really really nice like white creamy really really nice fluffy texture so you want to keep whipping until it gets really 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 soft so here i'm going to add in my essential oils this is literally just for smell i just like the way they smell i put the lang lang i think that's how you pronounce it and lavender essential oil just for smell um, and then i continue to whisk i did add a little bit of cocoa um coconut oil off camera just to give it more of a slip because i noticed it was quite hard but you want to keep uh, whisking until it's really 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 fluffy and really soft that's how i preferably like my shea butter to be so this is the end result after whisking for about maybe 10 minutes if you want it a little bit fluffier you can do it for longer so i'm gonna put the mi mixture in this bag i got this bag from um poundland you get quite a few for one pound which is really good so i'm just gonna put it in the bag I'm going to start to dispense the shea butter mixture into a glass jar. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to cut the end, basically kind of like baking. I'm going to cut the end off and then start to dispense it into my glass jar. Um, I got the glass jar from Poundland as well. So if you want to save some buck, definitely do that. So yeah, literally going to start um, dispensing that. I'm going to push it, push it, push it until all the mixture is in my glass jar. Obviously, you can do it to your preference, depending on how much you whisked um, and how much shea butter that you have. Um, I literally just wanted this mixture just for nighttime because I like to put my shea butter on at night. Um, it is quite a thick texture, so just be careful because, especially at nighttime, because it's quite hot. <laughs> 
I would recommend putting it on at winter because it gets you really really warm and it gets your skin super 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 soft so this is what it looks like after dispensing it into the jar once that's done I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to show you how it looks once you apply it on your skin so basically this cream is really really good for people who have dry skin i suffer with dry skin on my body so um this the texture of this cream comes out really you know whipped and then when you put it onto your skin it literally turns into an oil so it's absolutely perfect for people with dry skin and it makes your skin look amazing glistening glowing everything in between so perfect for summer um, if you want to go outside perfect for winter if you're staying inside and you want to keep warm and perfect for dry skin so i hope you guys enjoyed that video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys